Hey guys, come back to you with a week two update. I'm trying to find a spot where the light's not hitting. Week two update of the diet. Um, depending on what scale I'm stepping on, I'm either down five or nine pounds. Um, I mean, I keep using, I try to use the same scale for the competition that I'm doing with my friends, but the other scales I'm using, um, either here or at a um, nutrition club is showing that I'm not down as much as that scale is saying. So, um, just going to go over my updated um, diet plan, meal plan here. Um, so I got set up at a nutrition club, and I'll go over later on what that is as soon as I can not cover up the camera here. So, um, I'm on a 2100 calorie with 174 grams of protein diet. So, in the morning, first thing I'm doing is, um, drinking a green herbal tea. Um, and then after that, I'm having a, uh, meal replacement shake, and I'll go over that once I get that in. Um, I have some at work, but I don't have any here at home. Um, and that's my breakfast. I'm using, uh, that shake's got about 48 grams of protein in it. And I can put fruit in it if I want. Or I can, let's see, fruit can be blended with your shake or eaten separately. So that's my breakfast. Um, my mid-morning snack, or if I'm on nights, my mid evening snack um it's going to be a protein bar um a protein snack so i read that wrong for what i did earlier so it says choose one between a protein bar three hard boiled eggs or a half a cup of yogurt and berries um, earlier I did a, I did a protein bar, not really a protein bar, but I'll show you what I, what I got here. Uh, I did three, three, three hard boiled eggs and, uh, a cup of yogurt or half a cup of yogurt. So, um, what I got for those is, <clears throat> I have these fiber one bars, 90 calories. They are, uh, 90 calories, two fat. Um, 17 grams of carb, uh, five fiber, and less than one gram of protein. So, I also got stacks, a whole stack of, uh, Quest Bars. I believe I got seven of them, different flavors. I got the, um, white chocolate raspberry. Cookies and cream, apple pie, and uh, cinnamon, cinnamon bun. And they have my favorite one is the s'more, and they didn't have that. Second favorite is the cookies and cream. So I just got some of those. And then hard boiled eggs. I took two dozen eggs and what I do is put them in these cupcake pans in the oven on 400 degrees for 20 minutes is uh, the same cons consistency to me as hard boiled and I don't I, it's, I seem it's a lot easier to do that for me at least and then yogurts I got a bunch of um, Yo Plays Greek 100 calories a bunch of different flavors like six or seven different flavors uh, this one's peach I had a mango earlier these are no fat 12 grams of carbs 11 grams of protein um, per the whole contain or uh, 100 calories and then so for lunch which is what I'm getting ready to do right now uh, another um, tea, herbal concentrate tea 
from um, this nutrition company, which I don't have that yet. Um, lunch is another shake, so I don't have their shake yet, so I'm going to have one of my protein shakes um, that I have here. And then choose two of my, my choice of um, food here, which is half a cup of coleslaw, uh, fruit, half a cup of cottage cheese, a garden salad, hard boiled egg, or string cheese. So what I'm going to do today is um, normally I would probably put fruit into the shake and then uh, I got the hard boiled eggs. When I'm at work I can get a salad but for today I'm going to do I got this Dean's cottage cheese fat free so it's gonna be half a cup is what I'm supposed to have so it's half a cup is 80 calories zero fat six carbs and 12 grams of protein so I'll probably do half a cup of this with a hard-boiled egg and a protein shake. I'll do two scoops of Eat the Bear uh, cinnamon bun. I'm trying to move and focus on this at the same time. Because this is what the, the protein I have here right now. And I get an afternoon snack, which is a protein fruit combo snack option. So I can have fruit with a protein so I can choose one of the three here which is one string cheese one apple I don't know why I'm just not showing you this uh, one string cheese one apple half a cup of cottage cheese with a pineapple or half a cup of yogurt with berries so that'll be my afternoon snack and probably uh, it's already fourth almost 430 and I'm, I'm just getting lunch right now so It'll probably be in about two hours. And then dinner um, is an actual meal. So I'll have, I can do salad meat, veggie, optional uh, potato, pasta, or rice. So what I'm doing is I'm going to make uh, a bunch of meals up of uh, chicken breast. Some fajita seasoning, bunch of bell peppers, an onion, <clears throat> brown rice, and I got some paste hot salsa. So once I get that all cut up, measured up, cooked, I will figure out the macros on that. Oh, so I'm gonna get cooking. So here's what my lunch is gonna look like. We got half a cup of cut the cottage cheese in there with black pepper, one boiled egg, and then two scoops of eat the bear with 16 ounces of water. And I didn't say, but each scoop has 25 grams of protein, 100 calories, less than a gram of carb, zero fat, no sugar. So that's what we're uh, what my lunch is gonna look like for a while here. All right, it's now two minutes later after I just showed you that. Lunch is gone. Uh, now I'm gonna cut up the chicken into little strips. I'm gonna cook it on the George Foreman. Uh, start cutting up the peppers. I'm gonna cook those in a pan, just to render them down a little bit. And then uh, same with the onion. Cut those all up, cut them, cook them in a big pan, and then once the chicken and the, uh, all the peppers, veggies are done, I'm going to put it in, all in a pan together with the seasoning mix to get the flavor in there. And I got the rice. I'm going to make up three cups of rice. That's going to be half a cup of rice for dinner each day. Put it in the rice cooker here. 
and then uh, get everything put together and uh, show you what it looks like we're, as we're going along here. Half the chicken still cut up, still got that other half. Got cooking spray on there because I didn't do that last time. Just gonna lay it on there, single layer. It's probably gonna take a little bit longer than cooking in a pan. That's fine. It's probably the healthier way to do it. Once I get both of these cut up, um, start working on the veggies. <clears throat> get those cooking on the stove top. A really big pan. And then uh, as these get done cooking here, because um, I know I'm not going to fit it all on in one shot here, I'll, uh, I'll throw it into a bowl until the everything's done including the veggies throw it all in one big pan add the seasoning mix and probably a little bit of water I haven't looked at the directions yet well this is already cooking quick you can see the bottom sides already starting to cook so need to hurry up and get these on and get the wood closed And that's another good thing about having this all cut up already rather than cutting it up afterwards is it is going to cook very quick. I mean, just watch how quick this cooks. Just like that it's done. So we get this all moved into a bowl. And you can see all the fat and juice running out of it down there. Alright, first little bit in the bowl, throw the second half of the first package of chicken in. And uh, I don't want to fully cook it all, all the way anyways. Um, it's going to get put into another pan and simmered to let the um, seasoning water mixture thicken up a little bit so <clears throat> and then it's going to get put into a container and reheated in the future anyways so we don't want it to get super dried out so i realized i should have started the rice a long time ago because that's going to take the longest out of everything minus how long this video is going to be We'll start that again since the timer just started. I was trying to find my scale. I do have a food scale, but I can't find it. So I'm going to have to just guesstimate how much this is going to equal over seven days. So veggies, I don't have them cut up yet. Just wanted to show you. One orange, two green, one red, one yellow, and a Vidalia onion. I wanted a white, but I didn't do the grocery shopping. So, we'll get these cut up, put into a pan, and then mix it all together. So I guess I didn't realize how many veggies I got here. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to put the chicken in with the peppers. So what I'm going to do is let these cook up, and I'll put them in a bowl kind of like that. I'll cook the onions up, then I'll add the chicken, the seasoning, and the water all together in this pan once these are done and then I should be able to put them together in their individual containers for the week. So I came to the conclusion that I definitely needed two pans to do this. Peppers are all done, got a little bit of a char on them, they're nice and soft. So in case you're wondering, when I first started it was about 420 so it's been an hour and 25-ish minutes, and yeah, so I'm going to let this cook up. I'm going to eat my next meal, 
which, let me read, is my afternoon snack, which is going to be my choice of a protein fruit combo of one string cheese and apple, half a cup of cottage cheese with pineapple, or half a cup of yogurt and berries. So since I just did, since I just did cottage cheese, I did yogurt this morning, I think there is cottage cheese in here that my daughter's been eating. And there is. So I'm going to eat one of these, but I don't have any fruit. Dilemma. I'm going to eat one of my yogurts because it's got fruit chunks in it. So we're going to go with peach. Alright, so got the chicken, peppers, onions in. Waiting on the rice still, it just started boiling. And uh, I was going to make seven meals, there's only six. Um, so I'll just have to eat one of these tonight, unfortunately. I mean, come on. I, who really wants to eat that? So, it's not... And I tried to evenly portion it as much as I can. And guessing, you know, what each one of these is going to weigh. And I'm guessing it's probably got, you know, eight ounces of chicken and three quarters of a cup of mixed peppers and probably about a quarter of a cup of onion in each one of them. Um, and then I'm going to have a half a cup of rice as well. So I'll show you what beginning of the day to the end of the day is going to look like as soon as the rice is done. So here's what the full meal plan looks like. So I first wake up, going to be a tea. I got Tezo green tea. Um, not when I first wake up, but half an hour. So I'm going to get up, take a shower, have a cup of tea. And then by the time I get to work, I'll be ready for a shake. So I got two scoops of eat the bear protein in here for now until I get my um, meal replacement protein in. And then for my mid-morning snack, I'll have the Greek yogurt. Um, I got a bunch of different flavors. So this one's a mixed berry with a Fiber One bar or a Quest bar. And then three hard-boiled eggs. Uh, shell still on it. That's why that one's cracked. Um, lunch is going to be another tea with a hard-boiled egg. Another shake, and the half a cup of cottage cheese. I will put pepper on it just for flavoring. And then, afternoon snack is going to be another Greek yogurt. And I could have a piece of fruit with it I want, but it's got chunks of fruit in it. And then dinner, we got about eight ounces of chicken, half a cup of, or three quarters cup of peppers, Half a cup of brown rice and about a quarter cup of onions in with the chicken. So, we're going to give this a try for a while. I mean, I, mean, I got enough for six days with the uh, fajita mix up there. I'm not going to be putting it in a tortilla. I'm just going to eat it out of the dish like that. Um, just to cut that carb out. and But yet yeah, still have some carbs in with the rice. So, I'll probably do another video tomorrow just to, you know, how did I get hungry in between or whatnot. So, um, the protein will probably, the shakes will probably have fruit in with it just because I have some frozen fruit at work along with a blender to put it in. And then, uh, just to add a little bit of um, substance to it rather than just having a, a shake. So... Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, I know in the last video, somebody said, you know, that it probably took a while. Yeah, it took almost exactly two hours. Um, I like cooking, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, being out in the kitchen for two hours on my feet. Um, you know, you're burning calories because you're standing over a hot stove. You're moving around 
running each way, not running, but moving each way, um, getting the stuff you need out of the, out of the fridge, out of the drawer, out of the cupboards, whatever you may need. Um, so I, I didn't do any weight training or cardio or anything today, so that kind of helped me out a little bit. And, uh, so, you know, I, I like, I enjoy cooking, so. <clears throat> and, uh, especially if I know how it's cooked and that, you know, it's good, it's going to help me in the long run. Um, you know, I could buy the peppers and onions already cut up and chopped up, but, oh, that reminds me, I'm going to put some salsa on this too. So I got to put that on, um, just using a, a paste hot sauce, chunky hot sauce, which is two tablespoons is what I'm going to use. And it's zero fat, 10 calories, three carbs, no protein. And I could open it one handed. So, um, later in the week, when my supplements get here, I will go over that further with you guys. Um, probably, hopefully Wednesday, because I think it ships from Chicago, which is not, it's, a, it's usually a one day ship, and it's FedEx ground. So, whew, that is a little, got a little king zip to it. Um, <clears throat> that's all I got for you guys today. I would say lift big, eat big, get big, but I'm not eating too big right now. And I'm trying to get small. But I'm still lifting big, guys. Trust me on that. And uh, hopefully I'll get some gym footage for you guys soon. Um, tomorrow's Labor Day. I do have to work. So I hope the rest of you guys aren't laboring too much hard um enjoy you the holiday i'm gonna get this edited and put up hopefully within you know before i go to bed within the next three hours so live life healthy we'll go with that for now